this if I didn't show you guys the process. So looking at the place now, you can't even hardly believe what it was. Looking at all the previous videos that we had, how the driveway looked. Look at the driveway now. It took us a bunch of load of crush and run to be able to get this driveway like this. And we just had to fluff it yesterday. So those are the little things, man, that you don't see a lot of times when you admire what somebody has accomplished or you see something and you want that finished result without understanding what it actually took to get there. You know, in the, the clips, this the driveway was a mess. The pond was full of trees. Now, I do wish I had kept some of the trees around the pond. I, I do wish I had did that. Um, that was a mistake. But everything was muddy. It was a muddy road right there. Up that hill up there, it was a big old, where well, you seen that red clay, that big hole? That's what's in the field right there. It was a big hole. That area was just horrible. Really, all this was horrible, guys. Really, for real. It was all horrible. And we came in, and we got to work. Like, we got to work. Got the trees out of here. Started working on the land. Now we're in year three, and the grass coming back. So all the grass, that field up there is getting full of grass up there. It's to the point now where I'm actually considering using this field to make hay. That's what I'm considering. Um, instead of just putting animals over here to eat it, but just make hay out of it. But I can tell you something. One of the greatest tools that I use to get this field in a good condition because this was all trees pine trees it's a, if you notice this little area right here was a big hole right here that's what the grass not fully back yet and then they just had to cut a line over there to run power to the greenhouse greenhouse is a mess right now but we'll get it right for the fall but one of the biggest the greatest tools that i used over here were cows man cows cows do a great job at just fertilizing aerate you know aerating because they they got them holes and they steady especially when they get wet they're walking in the ground um they manuring on the ground cows do a great job so i had five head of cow over here um and they i, I can't take credit for this they got this ground back like this and i just want to show you guys what it would take you know going into a piece of property I would never advise you to buy a blank piece of property. I would never advise you to do that unless you just know what you're doing and you understand certain things like utilities, how far away the electricity is, water, where the land perk, can you put a septic tank out there, how deep the well going to be. Just all them different little nuances that you need to um, understand before you run out and buy you 30 acres of land. And it sounds good on theory. I got me 100 acres, but... You get out there and it's going to take you, you know, a hundred thousand dollars to have been, you know, I'm, I'm exaggerating a bit, but it's going to take you fifty thousand dollars to get that dog on land up and running. And that's not even um, including the structure that you plan on building in there. It'll take you five, ten years unless you just make a lot of money to do that. For me, my strategy is this. And if you can use this strategy, take it and use it. If you buy land, make sure it got at least a small, ran down, broken mobile home on it with access to water, access to power and an old riding septic tank. Because if it got a septic tank on it, there should be a permit for it. You could go down to the permit office and find out that they pulled a permit. If they pulled a permit, then that means it can perk. That means somebody came out and tested the dirt, find out it can perk. Those are the smaller things. Them the three things you really, really, really need to understand. Um, if it's power already there, you good. You could just come in. It's a meter already there, a service panel already there. You could come in and knock that thing down and build you something up. But running out buying a vacant piece of property without understanding, man, you'll go broke doing that.